Hi, it's Blair from Wisecraft Handmade, and today I've got a quilting and answer video tip for you. Every Thursday I share a video quilting tip to answer the questions I've gotten from you, all designed to help us make better quilts. And today I'm answering the question I get asked more than any other. How do I use the Ruby Ruler? I designed the Ruby Ruler to be a five inch square acrylic cutting ruler as well as a value lens. The basic idea for using it as a value lens, you hold it up midway between your eyes and a stack of fabrics, looking through it at your fabrics to view their relative dark or light color value. But what exactly is color value? Let me show you an example as I explain. I have a stack of fabrics here pulled from my stash. No real rhyme or reason, but maybe I plan to use them together in a scrappy quilt. And I want the Ruby ruler here to help me decide how to use them. Every color, or in this case fabric, that I have here is a light or dark color to your eye, but it also has a color value and that's a totally different thing. You see, a fabric's color doesn't change. A blue is always a blue, for example. But a fabric's color value changes on what it's paired with. Value is relative, which can be very confusing. So this blue fabric on its own may look light or dark blue to your eye. But is that its color value? No. Color value doesn't come into play until you compare it to other fabrics. Now let's look at it beside this fabric. In this pair, I would definitely call the first fabric a lighter value. The new fabric is a dark value relative to this first fabric. It also happens to be darker in color in this case too. But again, that's not what we're looking at here. Here's a different pairing. Now the original fabric is definitely the darker value of this pair. This one is definitely the lighter value. Now this is super easy to try yourself. Take any group of fabrics, lay them out on your work table, and look at them through the Ruby Ruler. Decide which ones are dark and which ones are light. The real trick of this exercise is that you need to fit each fabric into either a dark or light value stack. There can be no in between. Use the ruler to Cut squares from your fabrics. So that they're all the same size. And then lay them out on your work table, alternating a light and a dark. patterns emerging the more you play with these. Find more tips, tools, patterns, and tutorials at my website, Wisecraft Handmade, and join me here next week for a new quilting